Over the weekend, Ohio State football public address announcer Bob Kennedy died at the age of 59. Bob had been the voice of Ohio Stadium for more than 20 years. And really, he's become part of the tapestry of Ohio State game day. Whitney Harding spoke with some of his colleagues and friends to learn more about the man behind the microphone. Yeah, Whitney. Jared and Jen, Bob Kennedy has a legacy that echoes as far as his signature catchphrases boomed through Ohio Stadium. And speaking with those who knew him well, you can describe him in four words. Big voice, big heart. Bob Kennedy has been the soundtrack for Ohio State football the last 20 years. The voice you heard without sometimes realizing you were hearing it. It permeated Ohio Stadium, blending in with the roars of the crowd, while also sometimes leading the cheers. Well, Ohio State first down. Now shooting the one and one. This is on the loose. That's Matt Leininger, the PA announcer for Ohio State basketball and the voice of Huntington Park. Bob was my mentor um, through and through. Bob showed me you can have fun. Here they come! It's okay to be a fan while being, while being an announcer. Where Bob stood out was he never made it about himself. The good PA announcers are the ones that you hear their voice and they add to the game but you're not, you know, overbearing and taking the game over. And that was Bob. You probably never saw his face until uh, just recently, unfortunately, and that's too bad. He was kind of a shy guy, but his voice was not. I don't know if you'll remember the smells at the baseball field or the, or the football game, but you'll always remember his voice too. Just everything that he said, there was something behind it. Bob, the human being, had the biggest heart, and that came through in his announcing. You could hear that. Big voice, big heart, big legacy. The voice that is going to echo in everybody's mind forever. Bob's voice and wherever Bob was, I think he was just in the moment and just enjoyed it so much. What you hear is what you get with Bob, baby. And um, there was so much love and so much enthusiasm and just so much fun in his voice. And that was that was inspiring. Everyone I talked to when they were sharing their stories and if there was a, it was a story where Bob was talking right into the voice. Yeah. <laughs> Every single person went right into the voice mm -hmm. and they all said the heart he was so hard on himself. Yeah. He always mm -hmm. lingered on his mistakes, especially announcing people at the games mm -hmm. that came out on the field because 100,000 people, I mean, who knows who's paying attention? That one person whose yeah. name is being announced is paying attention. And I love how they said that you probably never saw his face, but you know his voice and some of the best announcers you just they become a part of the environment. It's yep. part of the experience and that's what he was for Ohio State fans. I said in so many ways I went speaking with the guys I asked them because I've been to some games and not nearly as many as them. I said it's almost like background music. Yeah. Until he had a moment. Yes. You know, first down or how <laughs> reads it first down. How he he yeah. did those things. So yeah. yeah, he was amazing. Incredible. I was one of those people that did an impression of Bob's face every time I saw him yeah. for 20 years. Yep. Absolutely. I'm gonna miss him terribly. Yeah. We'll be right back after this.